Both of Woman is helping those in need by creating COVID-19 care packages for the homeless. Erica Witt has collected things like wipes, toothpaste, and more. So Sarah Wilson joins us live to tell us what made White do this. Sarah. Well, Brantley White was filled with joy today, and she's been planning to do this because she's big on helping the homeless. Here's her story. You've heard the phrase, no child left behind. Well, one resident is applying this to those who are homeless. In the, the boxes we have, antibacterial wipes, cough drops, mask, toothpaste and toothbrush, of course. We even have hand sanitizer. Dothan resident Erica White is providing COVID-19 care packages for the homeless in hopes to give them relief during this tough time. I really want to help the people that are left behind that are not in shelters and don't have access to these type of things. Erica says many homeless people aren't always in shelters and tend to be overlooked. And these are the people she wants to target. They're once again helping the people that can be sheltered. My mission is to help the people that don't have access to these, like, you know, that can't get in the shelter and have masks. They need to be safe just as we are. White's nonprofit organization, Just New Beginnings with Angels, focuses on helping the homeless as much as possible. Erica's support team is also contributing to these care packages as well. For every box that someone donates, we donate three non-perishable items as well. She plans on going around Dothan to personally give the packages starting at the Dothan Library. Visit White's website, newbeginningwithangels.com, to see how you can help. There's always someone that needs help, even if it's something, like I said, even if it's something so little as soap. White is still accepting donations for her care packages and can be reached by the number on your screen at 334-596-9431. She accepts PayPal and Cash App and hopes this makes residents be thankful for what they have and help those in need. Back to you, Brantley.